Okay, it is Sherry again, and uh, don't worry about, uh, I saw a comment about uh, seeing people be sad. <clears throat> a lot of people will, uh, used to say, uh, are you comfortable in this arena? And I know what that means because they know what that means. And no, I'm not. However, I have just enough to get by. Um, as far as knowing what I'm doing. However, it's a lot of work to keep up with this group who I know that at least one <clears throat> young man has tuned in tonight. And I guess when I show this book here, I think you should take a look at this book. It's very interesting, Crime and Punishment. It's about a, a young guy uh, who actually has um, some financial problems, but, um, he becomes obsessed with a woman and, uh, and some money that she has or that he thinks she has. Um, but during, during the story, he's very ill. So, uh, that's a part of the story. And, um, he can't, uh, his, his view of life is very skewed. Um, He's very intelligent, and he, I think he does translations or something, um, and uh, tutors people. And he, uh, I think he has a sister, I'm not sure, I don't remember for sure. But it's it, it really gets inside this guy's head <coughs> in a way where, like, you wouldn't want to get inside someone's head that you knew. Um, I do know that... Uh, this all started with Dropbox, and I don't really want to fault Dropbox at this at this time because um, somebody terribly misunderstands the concept of open source software and using APIs to alter Dropbox. Um, and uh, there's one particular band that really just is always always sort of a problem. Not they're not a problem. But in this situation, they be, seem to become vulnerable to a type of, um, well, a lot of people are vulnerable. But I do know uh, that I learned more about this band from this young man than I knew myself when I was supposedly the one who was uh, so into him, and I still am. But apparently, as I said, I, I learned a lot about the guitar play, player and the picking, the guitar picking that he does and his style. I learned in 2015 that they were going to make a new album. I was very surprised about that. And uh, I'm wondering, like, how in the heck does he know all this stuff? I mean, I guess the picking on the guitar is fairly common knowledge if you play the guitar, but I didn't know that. And um, I'm not sure some of, how some of those details were found out. I mean, that's... Uh, I guess I guess I had missed that they were going to make an album in 2015. I don't know. But this this book is really good. <clears throat> it's a Dostoevsky book. And uh I I guess I'm I'm the only thing that really shocks me is that I don't know if you didn't think that I would see that you had put transaction altering software on my computer and everyone knows I'm a stickler for um ethics and basically obeying, you know, laws and stuff. And uh, I did notice that, that the, the state that was requesting a tax ID is Alabama. So I don't know what's going on there, but they seem to have done a pretty good job of globbing up a lot of the internet. I just don't think they really know what they're doing because, like I said, I've been involved in this for over three years and uh, several groups have passed through, but none of them wanted this. When it hit their town, there's no, when it hit their town, they wanted to get away from it. And uh, there was one group that was particularly skilled. And I hope they're not skating in after these uh, nitwits because um, 
It's just like a Pac-Man game. I mean, it is, don't download any new software. It just, it will instantly be stolen. Any, any software that I have bought, purchased, or downloaded has been altered and uh, copyright infringements. Music has been stolen off of iTunes, of my iTunes. So, I mean, these people are very, I guess you'd say brazen. And uh, they don't care that people know what they're doing. I don't even have to say the name. I think everyone knows who it is. But one, someone is getting a little bit too intimate about everything with me in getting into my computer. And, and that's the, the Windows NT uh, guy. I need you to stay away from me. Okay, I'm going to see what I can do about getting a digital restraining order. But uh, setting up that sort of, I had found the child type um, software yesterday, I think. And then seeing the transaction software, that doesn't look good. It doesn't look good at all. And um, I'm not sad because this is a part of what I was trained to do. And it's not pretty. But, you know, considering the violence that's gone on in this town, um, you know, I hate to say, you know, you can dish it out, but you can't take it, but you seem to all be very pain intolerant. And anytime there's any type of a, <clears throat> a talisman or a sacrifice that needs to be offered up, you keep coming back to the same person. That's a bad move right there. That's a pattern that's over time has evolved, you know, not has I don't want to use the word evolve because nobody knows what it, if I don't think any of you people have even taken a basic biology class. Maybe the only person that did doesn't even go to that church anymore. It's called, it's, it, it's not really called a church legally. And I'm not going to talk about that or why I know that. And that's none of your business why I know that. But, um, You're a sad, sad bunch of folks. And I know there's some people there that I really like. I know there's some people there that are in a state of fear because they've expressed that to me. But they're still participating. I never did participate. And when I said that I was trained to use some of the, the medical equipment, that's because it was medical equipment. And if there's any, like, crosstalk or uh, broadcasts, if you're familiar with that, that go out um, instead of just, you know, that daisy chain. I don't know if that daisy chain is still going on, but I think I think maybe you can um, put enough group, you can put enough texts on a phone. I think it's about 256. But you can actually uh, almost encrypt it. And I don't know where the, some of the servers are, but I know that any database that I can physically get my hands on online and know where it is, I've taken out. So uh, I don't really want you to fix the Windows NT uh, problem with my database that you put on there. I don't use Windows NT offline. I know that it was taken from one of the schools in Arkansas. I don't know why they're tolerating that. The Visio software that I got when I was in school uh, was stolen because I don't use software that was provided by the school after I'm not enrolled. Um, so I know that I had a uh, copy of Windows installed on my recovery drive, and then that would have required me to use it with no license, so I didn't. And there's a lot of recovery drive issues. There's a lot of DVR issues. Um, and I told you, young man, that if you want to make a dummy computer, you don't have to break the law. You can actually, you can actually convert a hard drive and don't do this to my computer. You can convert a hard drive into a virtual drive. See, you can just take your seat. Don't do it to my computer. You owe me enough money already. I mean a lot. Uh, you can make that a virtual drive and it'll still work. You can get online, you can surf around. I hope I don't have to resort to that but it, it will prevent any further changes from occurring. So if you feel like you're out of control with your desires or uh, the way, you know, what you're doing, I know they did have the black lights in your church, or I guess it's called community, community center or something. They did have the black lights in there about a year ago. What do you think those were for? 
uncomfortable topic. Very uncomfortable, but uh, try to be mature about it. Uh, at this point, no, I can't do any Girl Scout troop. Not right now, not with what I know and not with what uh, is going on. Um, and it just, it, I think the people that are still there, unless they're really in harm's, uh, even in harm's way, no one ever con convinced me to, to act out violently toward another person. And, you know, I think I've had it worse than any of you. And not once did I ever retaliate in a violent way. I don't know how long it's going to take for this to clear up. And it may never. I don't know. But um, the game's over. You're the only suckers that fell for it long enough to actually really do some terrible damage. Most of the other people just hurt themselves. Um, but none of them wanted to do it. And I remember every group. I remember I gave people who didn't give me their name. I have pseudonyms for them. But you're the only ones that, you know, it's really intimate for you. And... Um, I'm disappointed in the system, I guess, that it, it went this far. Because it's a big deal. So, quit making me little tokens. Quit trying to impress me with your hacker skills with a Z. I'm not impressed uh, because, first of all, they suck. No, I don't mean to shame or offend you, but you just don't... You, you don't, when you steal everything, it's not yours, you know? It's not yours. All I want to do is, is write my science fiction, which you you all actually uh, thought was, like, my diary? Hello! It's not yours. There's... I, I don't understand that how this became where there was this ownership you know, that you feel towards me, my stuff, my life, my medical equipment, anybody I encounter online. I quit following a data scientist tonight because I feel like he may be experiencing too much of the man love towards him. And I hate to put him in an awkward situation because everybody I run into, you develop some type of a one-to-one -one relationship with that doesn't exist. Um, a lot of their stuff gets messed up. And, uh, like I said, I've done everything I can to stop you. <clears throat> Newsflash, uh, you were labeled violent extremists about three to four months ago. Okay, I'm out.